This time, I'm going to talk about lasso regression in Python. In my previous video, I talked about ridge regression. If you haven't watched that video, you're welcome to watch my previous video, ridge regression first. Lasso regression is also a type of linear regression that uses shrinkage. Shrinkage is where data values are shrunk towards a center point. So we can use lasso regression to simplify the model, to build a model with fewer parameters. Lasso regression is a form of regression that constrains regularized or shrink the coefficient estimates towards zero. So lasso regression can use this technique to avoid the risk of overfitting. This technique is called regularization. Lasso regression as a penalty equal to the absolute value of the magnitude of coefficients. So lasso regression perform L1 regularization. In my previous video, I mentioned ridge regression performs L2 regularization. This is because ridge regression as a penalty equal to the square of the magnitude of coefficients. So the difference between lasso regression and ridge regression is that ridge regression doesn't result in elimination of coefficients. But in lasso regression, some coefficient can become zero and eliminated from the model. Now, let's compare the cost functions of ridge regression and the lasso regression. Let's review the cost function of simple linear regression first. In simple linear regression, the cost function is calculated by taking the difference between the observed data and our estimated data, square them, and sum those together. In the rich regression, we have two items here. As I mentioned in my previous video, the first item is the same with the cost function of simple linear regression. But the second item is the penalty equivalent to square of the magnitude of the coefficients. How about lasso regression? The cost function of lasso regression is similar to ridge regression, but the second item changed to the absolute value of the magnitude of the coefficient. It's not the square anymore. Now, let's see what kind of difference it will cause because of this different penalty function. This horizontal axis stands for lambda, that is, how much penalty we want to put to those coefficients. And this vertical axis stands for the coefficient. You can see when we change lambda, the coefficient can move toward to zero. This blue curve stands for the ridge regression. And this red straight line stands for how the coefficient will change for lasso regression. Mathematically, we can prove when we change lambda, ridge regression 
can never set value or coefficient to absolute zero. But Lasso regression can make coefficient to absolute zero. There is another regression called the elastic net regression. That is, we put 0.5 to each L1 and L2 regression. So you can imagine this blue curve stands for ridge regression. The red straight line stands for lasso regression. And this orange curve stands for elastic net. In this video, we'll focus on lasso regression. Now, let's go to Python. See how can we implement this lasso regression. In this video, I use the same data I used for my previous video. That is the housing data from Boston. The dependent variable is the housing price. And the independent variable is crime rate, the number of rooms, and the tax rate, etc. Now let's review what we did for rich regression. You can see those are my data. For ridge regression, you can see when we increase lambda, that is, when we put more penalty to all those coefficients, some parameters drop very fast. Like this highway access, you can see it dropped like this. And for this line, this is tax rate, also drop significantly. But for number of rooms, it drop a little bit, but not much. But even for those parameters drop sharply, it never reached to zero. Now, let's see what will happen with lasso regression. You can see with lasso regression, when lambda reach at 4, all the other parameters, all those independent variables, drop to 0. Only the number of room remains. That's what I mentioned. With ridge regression, even though you put heavy penalty, to all those coefficients, all those coefficients will never become zero. But for lasso regression, we can increase lambda and eventually eliminate some of the independent variables. Now let's check out R squared and MSE. This is R squared for ridge regression, and this is R squared for lasso regression. You can see they behave similarly as we increase the penalty to the coefficients, all those R squared dropped. And if we enlarge this part close to zero, you can see it reached the peak around here for ridge regression. And for the lasso regression, it reached the peak here. Now let's compare MSE. This is SME for ridge regression and this for lasso regression. 
You can see it behaves similarly, and if we enlarge this part close to zero, you can see for the ridge regression, the MSE reached the minimum around here for the lambda, and for the lasso test set, SME, it reached here. So you can see the lambda, the minimum lambda, it's quite different between the ridge test set and the lasso test set. And if we check the R squared and MSE, You can see the R squared. This is for the linear regression. It's close to 0 0.7. And for the ridge R squared, it's 0 0.7. And the lasso R squared, 0 0.7005. They are quite close. And also for the MSE, you can see the value. It's all around 29. And also very close. But you can see in this graph, the lambda is quite different between the ridge regression and the lasso regression. So, which regression is best? That depends on what kind of data you have. Maybe you need to try all of them and to pick up the best method for your data. This is how I perform lasso regression in Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.